killing me. <laughs> we'll just see if Navashni yeah. will bring someone else, but I think we can start solo. <laughs> Alright, colleagues, thank you very much. We've got uh, Colin Curry Cup winning coach, John Plumtree, from the Red Sox. Thanks, thank you. John, uh, same as last week, team C, leave the door open for you guys to the end. Uh, I mean, you just, you just want to go to the casino tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I prefer the racehorses. Um, yeah, no, look, I was just really proud of the boys. I mean, um, you know, <clears throat> yeah, time's up on the clock and you know, you're wondering how you're going to get the next position and, you know, the Lions didn't kill the game and just gave us one sniff and, um, you know, that's all we really wanted. You know, I thought when Jorenzo turned the ball over uh, with two or three minutes to go and um, then we didn't uh, we didn't get this, well, they, you know, they got another opportunity, another penalty and I thought, well, that was pretty much game over. But, yeah, it just gave us one more chance. But, um, you know, those types of moments are, um, you know, real... Real good for our confidence, you know, they, they never give up attitude that we're trying to stall in the boys, so yeah, just proud of them. Two, uh, two trophies, maybe your last two tournaments. Um, I know it's, it's not the ones you, the, the bigger ones, yeah. but um, what does that do for the confidence going into your season? Um, yeah, look, I mean, you're right. I mean, we, we, we have, the URC is, 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 a, is, a, is the main goal in Champions Cup when get all the boys back from the Springboks, but, um, I think for this group of players, it's, it's, it's really important. Um, and not just the players that played tonight, but the players that have played, you know, through, through the first six, seven rounds and uh, obviously that, ma that management team. So I think it's unique, it makes it special that we've won tonight for, for a lot of people. Um, you know, you, you only, you know, the ex-players that, uh, that's, you know, send me messages and, you know, they, they get excited about it. So yeah, it's, it, there's a lot of people back in Durban that'll be very happy, or Mattel that'll be very happy tonight. and so. Reflect on that. That is important, and and, uh, and a trophy, the trophy like that is, is a beautiful trophy. And um, yeah, I didn't think I'd ever hold it again. So um, thank you. I didn't ever think I'd hold it again. So that was that's was felt quite good. Jordan, what, what do you think? It's all good to Mike. I must say. Um, all the early mornings, half past five, you know, training those pressure kicks. Um, one day when you do get that opportunity and that's when you need to nail it. Um, and, you know, thinking back when I used to be at the Lions, there was a couple of kings, uh, kicks I missed as well, you know. Uh, the one against the Bulls to win the game as well. Um, so, yeah, for me it was just staying calm and just, you know, thinking about the small processes leading to the kick and just you know, backing yourself. Um, that's the biggest thing you can say, is just believe in yourself and just head down, follow through. I was teasing him yesterday because he, <laughs> he was hitting the captain's practice from further back and, I, and he was nailing them over and I just said to him, look, oh, mate, they look, that looks really good, but can you hit them in a pressure moment? So uh, he got his chance and he just showed his old coach that he can do it. So, yeah, good on you, buddy. Thanks, <laughs> Yourself and... Uh, John Dobson said, you know, you guys weren't too happy with the, you know, the delaying the start to the <laughs> URC and that kind of disruption. Does this sort of make up for it and actually yeah. give you guys a bit of a boost going yeah. into it now? Yeah, big time. I mean, to come up here, to come up here and, and to lose and then to have to get on a plane on Monday, um, you know, we've picked up one or two knocks as well, so it wouldn't have been, um, it wouldn't have been great, but to win it sort of makes it worth it and, um, you know, like I say, there's a lot of young players in the team that have never won the Curry Cup before. I think it was only five or six in the squad that we had in Durban. Um, so, you know, they all cherish this memory and and Jordan's kick will go down in folklore, you know, and, and I think that's um, that's what it's all about. You know, we'll, we've said this week we'll live in the moment and we'll just do what we need to do to get through this week and then we'll reassess how we, how we, how we shape up tomorrow and uh, catch a plane Monday. And my job now will be to get these boys back down to... Uh, <laughs> and uh, and because we know what a tough side we've got to play over in uh, Galway. Jordan, uh, your first touch of the ball today, the crowd booed quite heartily. Um, I guess you could say you had the final say there with the, with the final touch of the ball. Um, did you hear the views at all? Or was there part of you that was sort of saying, I'll, I'll show you guys? No, I think Coach whipped us one in terms of um, Friday mm -hmm. and, you know, just before we came to the stadium. Uh, you know, it's, they're not our friends, you know, it's, it's a personal one, uh, you know, coming to Ellis Park, I knew 
um, you know, fans and the people go against me. But, you know, it was just staying in the moment, staying in the game and just executing what we needed to and, you know, from me individually. Um, yeah, and when it came to the last kick, it was just, you know, being in my space, my mind, you know, and just backing that. And I knew the whole game as well. Uh, the crowd always plays a factor in terms of, um, you know, pressure moments, you know, uh, the atmosphere and stuff like that. But you just, you know, stay in your mind and just control the game. Jordan, there are a few moments about you making a move because you're a part of the Lions, you're a leader as well. Yeah. You feel as if when you come trumps at a moment like that and you win your first piece of silverware, that's the reason why you make that move and you feel a bit more justified that you probably don't even have to explain the move now. Look, no one also expected uh, the season the Lions had, you know, and they were definitely the favourites going into this final. Um, my move was solely, you know, to challenge myself, challenge my environment, and you know, with the coaches we have there, I knew I was going to grow as a player, and that's what I needed in my career. Um, and look, the perks of that is, you know, winning a Curry Cup uh, today. So yeah. And we also look forward to, you know, going into UFC and then eventually Heineken Cup as well. So that's also our goals. Um, it's about celebrating tonight and also, you know, keeping our focus on these big competitions um, as well. Guys, can we take three more, please? John, does, does the weather actually help you going to Cardiff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you might, hey, what might be better there. It's pretty average. But, yeah, no, definitely it was it was, it was good rehearsal and... Um, you know, we, like I said, Connacht's going to be tough and, and uh, I'm sure they'll be waiting for us, so home game for them. Um, yeah, but we, we, like I said, it's we, we've got to find a little bit of belief, but it's going to be tough emotionally and uh, and physically getting off this high and and a long trip over there. So, yeah, at least I'll sleep well, I'm sure, after <laughs> tonight's celebration. <laughs> John, uh, <coughs> congratulations, by the way, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Um, since you returned to the Sharks, you, you've been quite clear that you want to play a more attacking brand of rugby. Um, how difficult was it today to actually cut cut back on that? I mean, you had the conditions just made it imperative. Yeah, look, I mean, I thought Ethan Hooker's try was beautiful, um, you know, and we, we had to uh, put pressure on them and hope for some turnover moments where we could find, get the ball into a bit of space. I think the both teams had the same plan. Um, it was just around who was going to get the um, the opportunity. Um, you know, when um, you know, we sort of we sort of could have played a little bit more at times, and we talked about that at half time. Um, but the opportunities were really around just building pressure through the air, uh, and then hoping for a couple of moments um, where we could get you know a penalty or a try. Uh, and they had, they, like I said, they had a couple of the, the same plan. I mean, they they got down into our 22 in the, in the second half and scored twice, which was really disappointing. Um, and we'll have to be better than that. Um, but I did think it looked like there was like a slight obstruction on the second try that I was a little bit disappointed didn't get reviewed. Um, but uh, I'll, look, I'll look at it again. But, you know, it was a big moment, you know. The Lions, tough team, you know, emotionally they... You know, they've got a great culture here and they play for each other and we're working towards that. But um, we always knew it was going to be a close, close one tonight with those types of conditions. John, just a thought on closing the game. I think the last game uh, went to the wire 100 minutes in today. Again, odds against you closing the game. Moving forward, what do you want your players to learn about closing those big games, especially the way yeah, look, I mean, the Lions had the opportunity to close the game out and didn't do it, and then they gave the opposition one sniff, and that's 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 what can happen. Um, you know, I, I was thought that that ball was um, going to touch. I didn't realise the ball was going to pop out. I don't know how that ball popped out, but um, it did, and that was just the. And we then all of a sudden, you know, our boys got pretty excited and we counterattacked, and um, and then I think there was a uh, there was an infringement on Jordan and. You know, when we got to around the 10 metre, I thought, well, if any type of penalty now, where we could we could sneak it, and then sure enough, the arm, when the rest put his arm out, I thought, okay, here we go, and uh, that was a moment where the big fellow over here stepped up. So yeah, close game and great final, and awesome that the people came out to support it tonight in this shitty weather. Yeah, congratulations. Um, if this competition needed uh, an advert, would you say that this was just what it was? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, any finals, 
um, you know, the finals are great to watch, aren't they? They're so hotly contested, and especially in this country. Um, you know, we, you know, the, the Curry Cup got that added spice, didn't it? Because uh, the big teams brought back their players and used them as URC pre-season games. I mean, for us, um, you know, we've had two real tough games at altitude. You know, we've got over the line, we've got some confidence. So it's served a purpose, um, but the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that we have to, you know, we've got to travel to Ireland now, so it's uh, it's not the ideal prep for a, for a three-week tour, but there'll be some smiles on their faces tonight, we'll, we won't worry about that tonight. Jordan, you, have you got any messages from your brother, or have you sent him any messages after this? No, look, Jaden's biggest thing is he has a test match tonight and, you know, we both focus on that. Um, yeah, look, my family hasn't been going to, you know, the easiest, uh, you know, my mother just had her up. Um, so, yeah, you know, it was quite a personal situation and circumstances, um, but, you know, this will definitely put a smile on their faces. And, yeah, this is also one for my dad, you know, because um, he would have loved to see me and my brother play together. Um, so yeah, this this cup and this final is definitely for him, and I know he'll be smiling down at us. But the job's not done, and you know that's our main message. You know, after tonight, the job's not done. You know, we get on the plane, and you know we got to connect with confidence, but we also, you know, keep ourselves grounded as well. Thanks, colleague. John. Thank you very much. Thank you.